taking a random walk on a hamster wheel. We spend a lot of our time trying to understand the markets, explain the markets, even predict the markets. And we have no shortage of experts who can tell us what the markets are doing, at least in retrospect. The bond and equity joint sell-off. This, you know, growing anxiety. We're trying to read the tea leaves. People are just closing their eyes and waiting for this all to be worked out. We basically entered a high volatility regime. If you've got a 10-year yield at 1.5%. The steepening in the yield curve. The Fed has said that they're changing policy. They've telegraphed the tapering. Delta fears have caused concerns. All the pressure on on Evergrande and Chinese debt markets. You get volatility. And now coming out of Germany, we get maybe a useful reminder a bit about just how modest we should be about what we think we know about the markets. Meet Mr. Gox. He is a hamster. And like most hamsters, he spends his days pretty much running on a hamster wheel and running in and out of tubes. But his owner has set it up so that Mr. Gox can trade cryptocurrency. He does it because where Mr. Gox stops on his wheel points to a specific currency. And whether he's on the buy side or the sell side depends on which tube Mr. Gox goes in or out of. And we can all watch Mr. Gox make his investment decisions in real time because it is streamed on Twitch. And of course, Mr. Gox has his own Twitter account as well. And the results, well, let's put it this way. Since June, Mr. Gox's portfolio of cryptocurrencies is up 16%. If you're keeping score, that's better than Bitcoin, better than the S&P 500, it's even better than Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. But on the other hand, if you watch carefully that streaming video, you notice something about Mr. Gox. He actually isn't so much a crypto trader as a crypto holder, because most of the time, Mr. Gox is in his cage, not doing much of anything. He's not on a wheel, he's not going in and out of the tubes. So maybe in one sense, Mr. Gox is a long-term investor. Does that remind you of anyone? Like, for example, investing icon Warren Buffett? I'm buying stocks, and I, but I'm not buying them because I think they're going to go up next year. I'm buying them because I think they'll be worth quite a bit more money 10 years or 20 years from now. And I don't know whether they're going to go up or down tomorrow or next week or next month or next year. So perhaps maybe the German hamster, Mr. Gox, is one more follower of Ben Graham and Warren Buffett.